Hey guys, Penguins Recordings here, and today I'm going to be showcasing, or better yet, I'm going to be guiding you on how to install Need for Speed Underground 2 in Ubuntu 12.10. Now we will be using the cracked version of the game because this is the only way we can get the game to have a resolution higher than 1024 by 768 So the first thing I will do is right click, open with, and click Disk Image Mounter. So now we have it mounted as if it was a CD. All right. I will be using Crossover for this guide. So I click Crossover. So I have many things installed already. Need for Speed has also already been installed, but for this tutorial, I will be using a new Crossover bottle. So down here, I click Add new bottle you can name this anything you want but i will be naming it nfs u2 tut tutorial okay it will be using windows xp click create let it do its thing this can take a while all right so we have this bottle ready so now we're going to go into applications and down at the bottom right we have install software. I'm going to click that. All right. As you can see instantly it can already tell that Need for Speed Underground 2 is here. So it's already selected this. Now we're going to click the second part here. Make sure it has the disk selected, which it does. Next, we click down. I'm going to make sure it's installing in this correct bottle. NFSU2 to it. All right. So it's doing all that we need. It automatically detected it. So I'm going to click install. And let it do its thing. All right. Now, just a quick reminder this will work for you on Ubuntu 12.04, 12.10, and 13.04 so long as you have crossover 12.1 so I'm going to click yes we're simply installing the required DirectX redistributable alright drag this down to the center click I accept the agreement click next click next again alright it installs itself rather fast All right, so we can click finish. The crossover is simulating a restart. Okay, now the Need for Speed Underground 2 installer is starting up. We wait for it. Okay, click on install. Now it will ask for a CD key. Now you can use your CD key if you have a retail one, but since you will be using the crack regardless, it would be wise to use the CD key that comes with this crack. The link for this torrent will be in the description below if you need it. So we can run this using crossover. So I have this right here. I want to run it in this bottle. So I click run command. All right, so now we're going to click browse and we're going to head into this directory right here. So I have this under my hard drive my other hard drive under game installers under n n n n n n there it is need for speed underground 2 go to the crack and here we have the reloaded nu2k this is the serial key used for the crack so i'm going to click run all right so here we have the cd key Let us go back to the installer right here. We're going to paste it in one by one. All right. 
now that we have the CD key included in here we're going to click next we can now close this generator and we can put that down to windowed mode okay now we can continue with the installer after we have the serial key we can use the typical user best performance settings in default but I prefer to go with the advanced user one because I want to make sure it installs everything so full all file copies copied to the system this is what we want to make sure that it's selected click next it's going to say this you can just click next here register later we won't be using this we won't be playing online so now we leave it to run to install itself I apologize to install itself this can take a while depending on how fast your computer may be now in a short bit it will ask for disk 2 so I'll show you how to eject the current disk and then input a new disk alright so now it is asking for the disk number 2 sometimes this will go out to the back behind so you may not see it please be aware that around the 50% mark it will ask for CD2 so if we go back up here into where my ISO files are we are going to click this eject button right next to the NFS CD here it will say volume is busy but that's okay we are going to unmount anyway give it a couple of seconds it has unmounted itself but it's being rather naughty so now we are going to right click on the second disk open with and disk image mounter we have the first one unmounted but it wants to remain there the name but it has been unmounted so now that we've inserted the second disk let's click OK and see if it works yes it does it recognizes the second disk has been mounted so you will be able to run the game like this even if you own the original copy of this game you will need to crack it why? I remind you that if you want to use higher resolutions you will need to crack it because we will be using another application after this called Universal Widescreen Patcher. No, we do not want to launch Need for Speed Underground 2. We're going to click quit. We finished the installation. Let it do its thing. Alright, so installation is complete. So I'm going to click close on this. I'm going to close this as well. So if we were to click this bottle, NFSU2 tut, and under applications, we would see Need for Speed Underground 2 has been installed. Before we can run it, before we should run it, however, we should do the widescreen patcher. But let's say you don't care about the resolution and you just want to run the game straight away. What you can do is go back to bottle and click run command. Now inside run command, click down on launchers click the need for speed underground 2 you will notice that it won't work the first time why because we have not cracked it yet this is what you will get you will get this error so to fix that make sure this bottle is selected once more go to advanced and browse C drive alright once we are in the C drive go to program files EA Games and Need for Speed Underground 2. While keeping this folder open, let us go back to the Need for Speed Underground 2 ISO file folder. In here we have the crack. Copy speed2.exe and paste it inside of the bottle with the Need for Speed Underground 2 installed in it. It will say, Do you want to replace the file? Yes, we do. So we click replace it has been done all right now if you were to run it now it would work but before I do that I'm going to go into 
Control Panel, and Wind Configuration, I want to put it into windowed mode. So I'm going to go to Graphics, and I'm going to tick Emulate a Virtual Desktop. Now I'm going to put the resolution of this to about 1600 by 900. I click Apply, and I click OK. We still haven't used the Universal Widescreen Patcher yet, but let's just try running the game now. As usual, on the bottle, click Run Command, and this window comes up. Go to Launchers, and click the Need for Speed Underground to whether it's desktop or start menu, doesn't matter, so long as you're running what's at the end here. So we click Run. And we have the game working. But as you can see, it's so small. The resolution is so small. And the highest you can make it is only 1024 by 768. We don't want that. That's too small. So now it's time for us to apply the universal widescreen patcher. I will include links for this down below in the description if you need this. As usual, we are going to go under Advanced and then Browse the C drive. Going to go to Program Files, EA Games. All right, that's good enough. I'm going to double click the widescreen patcher. So here are the files that I want. I'm going to select them both and I'm going to drag them here. It doesn't matter where you drag them, so long as you can run the file inside the bottle. So now I'm going to run this. So we go back to bottle and we go to run command, go to launchers. It does not detect it here yet, but if you were to go to Browse, Program Files, EA Games, here we have the Universal Widescreen Patcher. So we close this. We click Open. Now we click Run. Alright, so we have the Universal Widescreen Patcher here. Now under the drop-down, we're going to select Need for Speed Underground 2. Read the instructions here. It must be cracked. And you must have the resolution at 640x480 in the game. This is the basic resolution. Don't worry. We do this so that the, the patcher can work itself. So now under Drive C, Program Files, EA Games, Need for Speed Underground 2. There we go. It has now detected these resolutions. I want to set it for now to 1600 by 900. Now I'm going to click patch. Game successfully patched is what it will tell you. You click OK. And I can close this. Now let's try running the game once more. It should be a lot larger now. So we're going to choose this one the first. We're going to click run. And there you have it. The game is in large screen. Now I didn't record the game sound because I forgot to click. If you were to look on the vocal screen, I forgot to click the audio section. I apologize for that. So now you have Need for Speed Underground 2 working in crossover. I did try getting this to work in Play on Linux, but I haven't been successful so far. It only works so far using Crossover 12.run. If you're using Ubuntu 12.04, 12.10, or 13.04, you should be able to get this up and running. Even if you have the original game, I must remind you that you will need the crack to be able to apply the different resolutions. Since EA doesn't exactly sell this game online anymore, they aren't offering fixes for it. So I hope this video helped you to install the game and get up and running with it in Ubuntu. And if you, I hope you enjoyed the video and that it helped you. Thanks for watching, guys.